Okay, hello everyone. So in this lesson, we will talk about how to find the measure of the angle in a right triangle using the trigonometric ratio. So suppose we have here a right triangle A, B, and C. Given a na na si angle B, that's 90 degrees since it's a right angle. Recall kita na pag ang acute angle gani, that means ang sum sa imuhang angle, okay? The sum of your angles here, let me write it. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C should equal to 180 degrees, no? Dapat 180 degrees ang iyahang total. So in this case, lang unta na hanapon na to si angle B, angle A. So pila mani, pila ning si angle A. Oh, we will label that angle X degree. But before that, we need to find the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite. So again, review kita ang hypotenuse that is the longest leg or ang kaatbang na leg sa right angle. So this is the hypotenuse. The adjacent leg is ang leg na katapad sa ato ang angle. So, with respect to angle A, this is our adjacent leg. Ang katapad na leg ni angle A. Next, the opposite leg. No? Ang kaatbang na leg ni angle A, that's here. So, this is our opposite leg. Suppose na given ang ato value for the opposite and hypotenuse. So, let's say the opposite leg is equal to 6. And the hypotenuse leg is equal to 18. So, unsa na trigonometric ratio ang atong gamiton? So, ka towa or ko sha kao. No, remember that ko sha kao is just the reciprocal of so ka towa. So, you can just choose from so ka towa for you to easily compute or to easily find the right ratio. No, so ka towa. So, in here, given si opposite. Na atay opposite. And hypotenuse, and we also have C angle ang atong hanapon. No? Hypotenuse, oops, wait sa, what was that? Let me check. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse. Asa to, di ba kay so, ka towa. So, so we can use so, lantawa, so, ka Towa. Opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. So, naata ang ato given opposite ug si hypotenuse. So, we can use so, di ba? So, we will be using so, the trigonometric ratio, so. Okay, so, 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 so. Mm -hmm. So, we have here so. So, or the sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Next, si ato angle na gipangita diri ay is angle A man, di ba? So, we write here, sine of A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Next, so sine, ang atong A, gilabel na nato diri ang x degrees. So, we will replace that by x degrees equals mm -hmm. equals ang atong opposite side that is 6 ang atong hypotenuse that's 18 so we have here 6 over 18 next di ba kay si x degree man ang atong gipangita so dili na to pwede na i-multiply na to si sin o si x degrees okay so ang maitabo ana we will get the inverse of sine. Pilay inverse ni sine. Di na 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 to dugay dugangon. Dugay dugayin pa. So here, this will become x degrees. O ang inverse ni sa sine, that's arc sine. Or para di maglibog rakan, di kita mo gamit ng arc sine. Ano rakan? Sine inverse. Ano? Inverse of sine and then copy. 6 over 18. So, kana ang mahitabo. Pwede ninyo gamito ng arc sine, pwede sa inverse of sine. Ayaw na ka mong paglabad-labad, no? Kay, basi, labad pa, dyan ay calculator, pwede rin na ninyo gamitan. 
So we have x decrease equals pili sine inverse of 6 over 18. So you can use your calculator anya. So pag pindot ana sine inverse onya 6 over 18 na asa calculator. Will I answer? Okay, so that is 19.47 degrees. So it means the I na si angle A A it's equal to 19. Point 47 degrees. No? So, I drawing na to pag otro si triangle. Okay. That is si A, si B, si A, si B. Si B na to given na 90 degrees. Si A na to, that's pala 19.47 degrees. 19.47 degrees. Now, what if Pilay value sa ato ang C. Sakto ba to drawing? Okay. Pilay value sa ato ang C dari A. No? Again, this is an acute angle. So, when we say acute angle, dapat ang total ni is 180 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should equal to 180 degrees. So next, given naman si angle A o si angle B, pala na, i-add na to na 100, na, okay, 90 degrees plus 19.47, that's pila. Okay, 109.47. I-subtract na to na from 180 degrees to get the value of our angle C, then we get 70.47. 53 degrees. Okay? 70.53 degrees. So, let's see if mo total ba si dyan ng 180 degrees, no? So, we have here angle A plus angle B plus angle C. So, si A 119.47 plus si B 90 degrees plus si C, 70.53. So, if you were to add that, the sum would be 180 degrees. So, that is how you get the measurement of the angle of a right triangle. Okay? So, depende na kung unsa na ratio ang inyuhang gamiton. Kung unsay mas angay na ratio na inyong gamiton. Kung unsay given, kung unsay makita, kung unsay suitable, that will be the ratio that you will be using. Walay naka-indicate na dapat so, na dapat kowa, dapat ing ana. So, depende sa ijo, ho? Kung unoy mas okay, unoy mas marajaw, unoy mas dali, unoy mas bagay na ratio. Alright? So, that's it.